Hi Prince, you seem to be lying to your audience. All the Arab countries mention Allah in your Bible and you said it was oh. okay, a second. So you just said this is a mistranslation. It's translation. So I challenge you, Abdul, to find me the word Allah in the original book. If you find it, well, good for you. What do you think? Is my streaming still going? Let me see. Hold on. We lost connection for a second. And now we cannot go through. Uh -huh. It says the site cannot go. Connect to the internet. All right. Let me see in my phone if we have connection or not. In my side, it says connect to the internet. Is it working? Man. Yeah, it's working. But uh, from my side, it says connect to the internet. I don't know why. <clears throat> Let me see what I can do. Hold on. Uh, uh, give me a second. By the river of Babylon, where we sit down, here we will. All right, we are reconnecting to the internet, hoping that will work. Let us see now. All right, now it's working. Okay. We are back. I have to, I don't know what happened. YouTube was telling me connect to the internet as if I don't have any internet. So anyway, uh, this Abdul, he just proved to us how Muslims are stupid when it's come to their own understanding of anything. First of all, Abdul, your God, Allah in the Quran, he used the word Injil to describe our gospel. Now, Injil is a Greek word. I want you to open our Greek Bible and find me the word Allah. Is that fair, guys? If you can't find me the word Allah in the Greek, you are a winner. Now we go to the word Allah in the Hebrew. I don't, I'm not an expert with Hebrew, but I heard that Akbar in Hebrew mean a, mean a rat. And Allah is a curse. What do you think? So can you show us the word Allah and Akbar? in the original Bible. If he can show us that, you know, we are the hero. And then I'm wrong. Because we don't have Bible in Arabic, this translation. Jesus did not write a book in Arabic, and the Sabbath did not. Uh, why I am disrespecting Islam? Will this Islam respect Jesus? Islam disrespect Jesus. And Islam disrespect Christians, respect Hindus, respect all mankind. Do Islam call non-Muslims pigs and monkeys, animals, worst of the creatures, najis? So while you are being hypocrite, you are asking us to respect Islam when Islam respect nobody. Hmm? Why Muslims are a bunch of hypocrite? If you speak about respect, then you should follow our religion of respect. Is it true your God called non-Muslims Najis? And you Muslims, you have a sign in the front of Mecca, it says Muslims only because non-Muslims are Najis? If I call you right now Najis, are you going to be upset? 
Do you see how hypocrite those people are? Who said that? The Quran. Uh, this guy, his name is Ahmed. He never heard that the Quran says that non-Muslims are Najis, brother. He never heard that. Never heard that. He said, you know, he's a true Muslim. The Quran not only says the Christians are Najis, he says, kill the Christians. Chapter 9, verse number 28 and 29. Do you see it? So why you lie? Do you want to call me so I can show you and make you read it? You can call me and read it and explain to me. Go ahead. Even Muhammad, he ordered the Muslims when they see a Christian in the road to spit on him and to humiliate him and to bother him. You need the context? Okay, my friend, you need to context when I insult Islam then. <laughs> context. You stupid idiot. You are killing us and you are saying context. What context? It says that in the oh you believe truly the pagans are actually the word pagan here is false. It says the mushrikeen. Pagans are not the mushrikeen. You Muslims are a bunch of liars when you translate. You can't even translate your Quran. You lie in everything. Mushrikeen is somebody worship Allah. How you say mushrikeen are pagan, you idiot? The mushrikeen is people who worship Allah and they associate other with Allah. And the Quran did not use the word pagan, use word mushrikeen. So you Muslims and the mushrikeen worshiping one God. And then we need to ask you how it happened that the pagan, you just call them pagan yourself, they are worshiping Allah in the same time and yet they are pagan. Can you answer that? That's me, you are a pagan too. Why a Christian would pursue such an action? Well, why not? Your prophet, he ordered to kill us, to take our land, to take our women, and he called us all the names. So he deserved to be wiped, to wipe the floor with him. What you can do about it? Now you are crying. When the Christians are nice, friendly, you want to kill them. When the Christian they stand up against your filthy prophet, you cry. Why a Christian they do that? You make fun of the Christians for being Christian all the day. And now you are asking me to be a Christian? I thought being Christian is bad. Do you see how hypocrite they are? Self-defense? Ah, so when your prophet, he says, attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls, he was doing self-defense, brother. <laughs> brother, don't you know about self-defense, brother? Ah, listen, listen. Let us attack the Roman. Hmm? They have a blonde girls, brother. Abdul, we have all your laundry here. Who is a Muhammad and have the courage? Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. That is the statement of your prophet. You will find it in every Islamic interpretation. Every single Islamic interpretation. Hmm? Attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is Tafsir al Tabari, page number 195, at Tawbah, verse number 49, as you see in the screen. And we will use Google Translation in front of everybody. And I will post the link for it so you can use Google Translation yourself. Here it says, Attack the Roman so we can get the blondie girls. Hadith number 
one six seven eight five one six seven eight six seven eight seven seven eight eight read them all all of them click at English translate and now you will say to me it doesn't say that CP huh invade the book to size the daughter of Asfar Asfar mean yellow Muhammad even don't know his, his Arabic is really funny to the point you do not know what the word blonde mean Shakrawat he said Asfar so you can get their daughters the, the blondies a man who was sitting they call him the grandfather his respected man he says excuse me why you are tempting us with women Muhammad, he made a verse in the Quran saying this guy is a hypocrite. So you potato you, you come here, you are taking it out of context. This is self-defense. You went self-defense all the way to Spain, brother? You went all self-defense all the way to France? To China, to India, brother? Man, that was self-defense. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Arahazadad, I noticed that you are making, uh, you are being a troll. So this is a warning for you. Next time you say something and you don't say you are not a Muslim, I will block you. You claim to be a Muslim and you are not, I will block you. Anyone here, he play as if he is a Muslim. You are not welcome. We are not a bunch of kids. I do not need your stupidity. We are here to answer real Muslims. So if we notice that you are being a stupid kid, playing as if you are a Muslim and you are not, we will block you immediately. And actually, let me block this guy. Here we go. I just blocked you. Aharatiz, whatever your name. Get out. We don't have time for idiots. Because what those people, they do, they will destroy what we are doing people they will think that they are Muslim I will think they are Muslims and in fact they are just being stupid silly saying stupid things for whatever reason just to get attention Ahmed Smith you can call my friend sure the admin will give you the uh, my account in Skype you can call me Okay, we have somebody want to uh, call. Let us see. <coughs> we are calling this person, but is not answering. Okay, we will hang up. Let us see this person. Hello? Hello? All right, go ahead. You are live on air. So you are a Christian? Yes, I am. All right, what do you like to say? Yes, um, before I, I say what I want to say, I just want to praise the Lord Jesus Christ for giving us eternal life uh, through his death so that we might be saved. Let me do that. Yes. I just wanted to say uh, that um, your videos have been very educating and I've heard a lot, especially when exposing this cult. Because what I've realized is uh, the people who are part of this religion, Islam, they have been destroyed, especially in the spiritual side of things. And it worries me that if they die, they will go to hell and they will burn simply because they chose out of their own will to 
reject the Lord Jesus Christ. And for a Christian who, like you, who is very concerned about them, it will be really painful when we see them in the judgment seat, in the great one throne of judgment, being judged. For why? They simply, out of their choice, rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to thank you, sir, with your channel for exposing this religion. This religion has caused many troubles, in, especially in other countries, especially where I come from, in the continent of Africa, where we see a terrorist uh, organizations like Boko Haram or Al-Shabaab. They terrorize Christians in Nigeria. They terrorize Somalia. They cause havoc in the Sahel, even though they've been reached Southern Africa. But it, it has come to a point where even the Christians in that part are moving to places in Southern Africa. In Southern Africa, Central Africa, or even some part of East Africa, just to be refugees because of the crisis which is happening in Nigeria, Somalia, and in the Zahel region, where we have ISIS, Boko Haram, and Al-Shabaab, which is destroying our region. And the West doesn't do anything. When it comes to uh, Muslim refugees, oh, they're happy, they're happy. But when it comes to Christians are fleeing persecution, it is nothing. And what I've realized, is, sorry for taking much time, is the West has been conducting an anti-Christian spiritual operation. What I mean is there, is, there has been a continuous discrimination of Christian teaching in the countries, especially, as far as I know, in the United States. They will allow a street preacher to preach about Islam, but a street preacher who preaches about Christ will be arrested or will be fined. Why is, is it that way? Why is the West, which was formerly a godly uh, uh, area, where Christian was flourishing, it was the Christian capital of the globe, has turned into a hellhole for Christians, in which the the doctrine of Christ has been rejected, but the one for other religions has been accepted, and it has damaged the very image of that country. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart that thank you so much for exposing this. I didn't know at first, but when I was watching your videos, I've received more information about this cult. And you know what? If any Muslim watching here, if, if you don't accept Jesus Christ right now and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will split hell wide open and you will burn in the lowest hell. That's all I want to say, sir. All right, thank you very much, my friend. Well, you know, the West, uh, uh, this is, those are the atheists and they are trying to fight Christianity. They think by supporting Islam, they can get rid of Christianity and that will make their life easier. <laughs> but anyway, those people will be punished by their own hands. I'm not really worried about them. Uh, for us, we are Christian. We have no worry. And yes, we, we will have a crisis as a Christians. We'll be discriminated. But let me tell you, my friend, discrimination, yes, discrimination make Christians better Christians. It's not the yes. opposite. You know, you will see that a Christian who is relaxed in his country, who the church door is open, he don't go to the church mostly. But you will see a person who is a Christian, who is discriminated, is a true Christian, and he die, and yet he will not leave the faith. So those yes. are the real Christians, and those will be blessed, and they are not cursed. This is a blessing for us. This is yes. what the Lord, he says, clearly blessing those people who will be even killed in his name. You know, yes, he sir. said time will come, and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. doesn't matter which yes, God. Sir. And those atheists in the West, because of their, you know, this is self-destruction plan. They think that Islam is going to be like just uh, like you know when when uh, when the stupid American they supported Taliban to fight the communist, you know. Yes, I remember. So they said yes. to themselves, okay, those are communists. We will use those Muslims 
so they can go and die and we will not even need to fight them we just give them weapon this is exactly yeah, what they are doing fine. but this time they are doing it to their own their self countries and yes and uh, and sooner or later they will find out it's going to be too late but i believe that god he punish nations yes. and islam is a punishment yes all right my friend thank you very much for calling god bless you thank you very much sir. take care you see Islam is really a curse. If you stay away from God, Allah, the God of Muslims, He is Satan. The true God, He will leave you without protection. And then all the source of evil will be on you. Look what's happening in the West. You see, they speak about the climate change, right? What about God curse? Hmm? They keep talking about climate change, climate change. They never heard of God. Everything they do is wrong. Everything. The land which is green all the time now is dry. Europe, the land of rain, is dry. Before it was the land of Muslims is cursed. There's no water to drink. There's no water to wash your faith. There's no, there's nothing. I mean, it's a dead land. Now, not only the land of the Muslims is dead, the land of Europe is dying. They are dying by population. They are dying. There's no water. The, the rivers are drying. And they think it is a climate change. It's you who change. And if you don't believe in God, soon you will. You know, human being, when he is wealthy, he is filthy. Take that. When he is worthy, he is filthy. For sure there's exception, right? But a human being, the second you make him rich and comfortable, the first thing he do, he spit at God. Because he think he's God. I mean, I have a nice house, I have a nice villa, I have a plane, I have, you know. The second he get faith, is a, a, a rich, worthy, you know, filthy rich, he got really filthy. And that's what happened in those countries. They became spoiled. They are busy just going around the world, you know, wearing clothes of hippies, putting tattoo, and you know, and they are dancing, uh, hop hop, and uh, you know, it is a boom boom night, and uh, I'm worried about my weeds now, my weeds. To the point now, they are legalizing weeds. You know, there is a religion of the weeds now. You know, <laughs> you see, in the old days, you used to see somebody asking for donation. Uh, because you have kids want to feed somebody is asking for donation because you know like give me some money I have some you want to go to school I have a daughter she need hospital now they, they sit in the ground and they put a can and in the front of it it says for my weeds <laughs> so my friend my people when people they became pervert the Bible says it clearly my people were destroyed because of their ignorance and this has happened to the Jews before there's no nation is an exception you leave god god will leave you and those nations are going to face a hell of coming time because the more and more every year things is getting worse and worse and worse they don't know they don't even know their gender a man he don't know if he's a what is a man he don't know is they don't even know what is a woman <laughs> i mean can you believe it we are in a time where people do not know what is a woman. Like, what is a woman? Uh, let me think. I have my definition for that, and nobody can beat me with that. Actually, I can I can answer this question very. You know, a woman is someone she like. Someone like to to shop shopping. Forget about their look now. I cannot talk about look because Democrat and uh, liberals will be upset. I cannot talk about look. I cannot talk about gender, brother. I cannot do that. They will arrest me. So I would say, okay, a woman is someone like to spend a lot of money. She like to have a credit card. Uh, did I say she? No, no, no. I say, uh, like, I don't, I can't say she. No, say, take the word she. It's an insult now. Uh, it is he. He like to, to have a, a credit card. He like to do shopping. He like to go to the mall. He like to buy makeup. He like to uh, <clears throat> wear high heels. Uh, 
I mean, didn't know even what is women. A woman, she can give birth to a baby, you idiot. Can you? They don't even know what is a woman. So if you say those things a thousand years ago, people will laugh. You see, human beings supposed to go advanced in thinking and intelligence. It's not happening. What's happening is the opposite. I'm telling you, what's happening is the opposite. The human being became so stupid. They are confused about their gender. They are confused about who they are. You know, uh, anyway, let us see. I think we have a Muslim trying to call us. <laughs> well, I don't know. I have a feeling that this guy is a... Uh, is not real, but let us call him. By the way, if you are an Abdul and you want to be like funny bully, nobody will hear you. You know, I mute the mic before we go live just to be sure that we are not getting a bully. I will call you when I have a need. Okay, my friend, why do you want to call me when you have a need? What need? Somebody told you I'm a grocery store. Uh, okay. Do we have any Muslim? Yeah, maybe I should make a special video about the climate change. Climate change. <laughs> Let us blame the Jews. <laughs> you know, anything, anything happened nowadays anything they blame climate change and look now they want to spend a lot of money to stop climate change you idiot how you can do that oh they want to stop the carbon and now we will make fake meat and by doing this we are going to kill all the cows you will have a war with the hindus <laughs> they want to kill all the cows because they are doing a lot of fart and that making a lot of methylone, brother. Do you want to go with war and with India, man? You want to kill the cows? Are you sure? Man, Moody will go after you. And now they are making fake beef. It's called what? Hold on. What is called? I forgot what it's called. And the funny, it's like five times more expensive than normal beef. Who's going to buy the stupid beef, which is vegetation? They put like a, they put like color to it and to make it like beef, and they call it meat now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I mean, a human being is really going not, and uh, the beef is not beef, and the pork is not pork, and later women are not women no more. She already they are, you know. I mean, you don't know these days who is a woman, who is not. You know, you 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 you, you look in YouTube, you see like you know in Korea those kids they are putting lipstick and they are wearing they have a purse. The guy is a guy, he's a guy. He's not even a gay. And why why you are wearing this? I mean, what what the point? So they are trying to destroy their own culture. You know, I went to Korea and you will see how the old Korean the tradition real men, you know, having their sword. They are really they look so good as men and now they are turning the nations of a nation of boys everybody have lipstick everybody have a purse they have you know i mean they they want them to make them look like girls they want to destroy everything right and who in the world is going to marry a boy i mean a woman she need a man Yeah, go and watch the old Korean. They used to have a sword. You never heard of sword? The guy is asking sword. Sword? Did you say sword? A brother. The Korean in the old days, they used to come their hair with sword, in case you do not know. <laughs> sword. In the, in the heart of uh, uh, Korea and Seoul, there is a palace for the king. So I think every... Uh, I think in the weekend, they have like a tradition to do show for the guard, the, the, king, the king guards, how they used to dress, how, 
You, you know, you see them, you respect them. You walk in the street, you see boys. Where is the man? They are trying to destroy the culture of this country. And then you will see other countries, thanks to, you know, people these days, they don't, they don't have a holy book, they have TikTok, you know? Like the holy book of TikTok. Like where do you learn this from TikTok? TikTok challenge. Just make TikTok challenge and you will see how people will go crazy. TikTok challenge, you know? Even president, they are stupid. I mean, look, did you, did you hear the, the, the challenge of the, of the ice? You put the ice in your head? George Bush, Obama. I mean, what's wrong with those people? I think you sent me invitation. I think I did call you, you did not answer. Oh, yeah, okay, this is you. Okay, hold on. Why you are sending me invitation? I do not, there's no need for an invitation. Let me call you. Hello? Yes, Mr. Ahmad, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. So you are a Muslim, Mr. Ahmad, right? Uh, yeah. What is that? What does that mean? Um, I follow Allah. Who is Allah? Uh, his messenger. Who is Allah? He's God. I don't ask you. I mean, I know that Muslim they have God it means Allah. I'm asking you, who is He? So, oh, what you know about Him that He is He's God? The That's creator. it. He's he the is creator. the creator. I like that. If there is any other creator in Islam? No, I mean, no. In oh. Islam, it's only, it's only Allah. He's okay. the creator. So, why the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators? That's only because I think it's like glorification. Like when he says we, he, he always says we in the book, you know. So, are Quran. you saying that Allah is lying? He is just exaggerating, saying he is the best of the creators, but there's no creators? Mm, it's not lying. It's it's just. Uh, is it true then? Is it true? I heard someone. Yeah, I think it's true because I heard someone. He said in Arabic, it's 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 for like uh, glorification. How how that is a glorification? If there is no other creator, how that can be glorification? You see, if I am either I am the best of the creators, or this is a false news, and I am not the best of the creators. So is he the best of the creators, or he is not? I mean, I can like create a chair. I think like he's the he's no, the, the, you see, the okay. The okay, I will go with you. So you Allah is saying that you you. I asked you who is Allah. You said he is the creator, correct? Yeah. Okay. It turned to be now according to you that Allah is the one who created chair. It. Mm, he willed for his creation, but he didn't directly create it. No, no. Focus with me. I ask you, who is Allah? You said he is the creator. I ask you, I ask you, Allah, he said that he is the best of the creators. He said, yeah, I can create a chair. I said, mm -hmm. so are you saying that Allah, he can create a chair? And when he said that, he said, I am the best creator who can create a chair? No, but I'm not the best of the creators, the creators in, in general, you know? Okay, what general? Um, when I when Allah He says the best of the creators, was He talking about creating chairs or was He talking about creating look, look, a human? I can create a chair, but He can create a universe, and we're both creators, but okay. He's the best. You see, in the chat, in the text, I think it's you who, who said to me, "Look at the context, right?" Yeah. Okay, let's read the context, can we? Okay. Chapter four, uh, twenty-three, verse number fourteen. Read it. Hold on a second. I'm, I have it for you in the screen. You can look at the screen. Just to mute YouTube so you don't have the two sounds. Uh, speaker on. Okay. Let me get the stream. Uh, then we made the note for this one. Mm hmm. Then we made the nutfa into a clot, a piece of thick coagulated blood. Then we made the clot into a little lump of flesh. And then we made out of that little lump of flesh bones. And we clothed the bones with flesh. And then we brought it forth as another creation. 
So blessed be Allah, the best of creators. Yeah. Okay. The context is talking about what? About creating blood and flesh and bones, correct? Yeah, the baby. Okay. So when Allah, he speak about himself being the best of the creators, is he talking about himself as the best who created chair? Uh, no. Okay. So when I say the best after the sentence, after talking about the blood, and flesh and bones and then after that i say i am the best of the creators that means i am the best of the creators who can create those things okay okay that's mean there's those things blood and sperm and semen and flesh and bones is not only created by allah created by other creators and in your opinion who are these creators you tell me. Uh, you are the Muslim, not me. I'm, I'm asking you, how in the world the Quran says such a thing? And now yeah, you are like asking me was, who are the creators? If this was an issue, everybody would have left Islam already. I well, don't who, think they are, is, who they are to leave Islam? Because it's in Arabic. You, you, you know, know, you know, I don't you really know understand Arabic. East. You know in the Middle East. What, what you say? I don't know Arabic, so like... No uh, problem, my friend. Yeah, it's not my business if you know Arabic or not. We are showing you in English. And it's your Muslim translation. But the issue is... If you are saying if if the people they see what I see, they will leave Islam. Who said that they are not leaving? There's a lot of people leave Islam. Just give them a chance, they will leave. In the Middle East, who dare to leave Islam? If you leave it, you leave it secretly. You know that. So but when like, when this verse every verse has we in it when he's talking about himself, he well, says this we. This is different from we. Uh, by the way, why Allah he say we? Go ahead, tell me why. It's glorification that the, okay. the Sheikh told. So me. you are saying to me, Allah he used we because this is more respect to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's wonderful. That's mean your God Allah. He think that I as a singular is not good and he like to be we to be respected. That's mean Allah. He is using fake we to be the glorified I. Look, I, I don't know the Arabic, so I, I wouldn't. I don't I care. Is that your translation now? Stop, you know, stop yeah, saying. But friend, no, you stop saying, I do not know the Arabic. This is your Islamic website. This is your Quran. This is your Muslim translation. And you are the one who said to me, why we Allah use we? You are the one who mentioned it. So I'm asking you now. You said to me that he used we to glorify himself, correct? It's more respect. You agree, correct? Yeah. Okay, but that's mean. Your God Allah, He think that Him being singular, one person, is not enough respect. So He used we to be respected more. How in the world that can be true? I don't know. Exactly. But this is like such a small topic. Like, no, if this, this was... is not a small topic. This is a huge topic, my friend. And let us continue reading together. You will see. It says that Allah, he made the nutfa, which is the semen, into a blood, a dead blood. Do you really believe, if there is anyone in the world believe that the semen transform into dead blood? But you can say that for semen into a human. What do you mean? No, he is not saying into a human. You know, you are the one who says to me to take it on context. Yeah. Allah is speaking in details about the creation of the baby, correct? Mm -hmm. He did not say we made a not fine to a human. That will, we can be accepted, no problem. But now he has given you in details the transformation stages. The semen become a thick, dead blood. Is that what you learn in school? That semen become dead blood sure from the bone marrow blood is is is, is made so but i don't my, think that's but my, my hold on yes my friend this is false you know i mean uh, 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 this is true that from the marrow uh, like there's let's say the manufacturer of a blood but now we don't have bones yet as you see in the quran it says here at the end the bones became bones yeah but that's just another way you know it's, it's not what only... another way so allah changed the manufacturer now Allah said that the nutfa became a dead blood. Dead blood does not grow and will not become anything else. Since when? In which science? Says that a blood became a flesh or a blood became a bone or a blood become a heart or a blood become a finger or a whatever. Which, which science says that?
Look, it says uh, thick piece or thick blood. Uh, it's it's, not, it's just not just con you know, congealed blood. This is dead blood. This is dead blood. When somebody cut his hand, if you cut your hand, God forbid, then if you leave it, you know, if little cut, the blood will cover it, right, and will dry, correct, and will make a cover mm -hmm. of like uh, very dark blood. And that is like to, to give you a chance to stop the bleeding and to heal your body, correct? Okay. But this is not what, if actually, if you have the blood in your system, you are dead. This is what causes heart attack. A clot, this is what they say, you have a clot. A clot is dead blood. Go in, in the, you know, in, in your system all the way to your heart and one day will block it. And then the, the blood will not go through to your heart. So you have a clot. Or in the brain. Okay, so, so you're saying that this is wrong. So what, what's the what's the, can you tell me the stages? Well, you can go any uh, any scientist website, and you will see none of those stages true. The semen, and you went to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Okay, the semen go to the, of the man, not 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 far here, not far, not far is a billion uh, of semen, not far, which is a drop of water, according to the Quran, will transform all of it into a dead blood but this is false what will happen is one semen just one will fertilize the egg is that true yeah deliver and then the semen will die will deliver the dna of the man is that correct say it again sorry the semen will fertilize and deliver the dna of the man yeah that's it and then there's no more semen and then the egg itself is going to multiply the DNA, which is the women have and the man have, and make no, but a baby. it's not just the egg; it's the egg and the semen. They're they're both inside because you have forty six chromosomes, I think. Doesn't matter. It's the like DNA, the DNA from both, no problem. DNA from both, and then the egg is multiply of cells. It's not the the semen and become. So as you see, all the stages are wrong, and this is false. So your God failed to tell us how He created the baby. Your God, he is using we, exaggeration to respect himself, but which means he is not self-confident and he is not satisfied with being one person. And then add, add to that at the end, he claim he is the best of the creators, but there is no other creators, which means he is a liar. How that can be God? How many, how many days the sperm can live? Uh, sorry? How many days a sperm can live? The sperm of the man inside the women. Like after, like uh, after, after they sex. have sex. After they have sex, how many days a sperm can live? I don't know. Like you two, can, three days. You can search right now in Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. You will see it is five days. Okay, five days. Okay. Your prophet he claimed that the sperm of man would be collected in his mother belly for 40 days i mean yeah it stays there but it like dies like it's not wrong my friend you see a second ago yeah. we said i mean what do you mean stay there the semen we, we just say it we just say it how long so, i ask you how did long you say it's a hadith right it's a hadith hadith yeah so what's wrong with hadith yeah no no what did say it again what was it that the semen of the man will be collected inside the women in the belly of the mother for 40 days. Okay. What, okay? If the semen live for, for five days maximum. No, 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 he didn't say live. He didn't say live. What do you mean he didn't say that? He said it stays inside. Doesn't mean it's alive or dead. He didn't, he didn't say that? Did he say, did he say dead? Yeah, he said that. Show me. It's in front of you. Wait, hold on. You know, I'm on my phone and I don't have any other way to mm. use, so I'm kind of looking here. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so where does it say it dies after? It doesn't say die. This is, the, this is what we're talking about. I wish it says die. It says you are collected inside your mother belief for 40 nights and 40 days. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So this is what makes the baby after that, because the baby stages, 
40 days as a semen, 40 days as, 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 a, as a, a congealed blood, 40 days as a lump, and then 40 days as a flush, and then 40 days as a bone. You hear me? Hello? Are you with me? <clears throat> he hang up. I don't know if he hang up or he lost connection, I'm not sure. We will call him back. All right, Ahmad, do you hear me now? Yeah, sorry, I think All I right. cut out. Okay, so do you see, read with me, it says, so you are collected, collected, mm -hmm. in the belly, not the womb, in the hadith in Arabic, it says, fee button, button is, is a belly, or a stomach. So you are collected in the stomach of your mother for 40 nights. And other hadith says, 40 nights and 40 days. So, according to your prophet, when Allah he created you he keep sending like a man he's having sex having sex every day so it take 40 days before the baby is collected you know keep collecting the woman is collecting now semen and then when she have enough semen that semen will become a blood and will grow to be a baby what do you think I mean, you just put a lot of your own explanation. I did not. I don't think. Okay, give me the explanation. Yeah, okay, go. Give me the explanation. No, I can't. I can't give an explanation. Why Is this not? even Sahih? You say, my friend. You, uh, if, I, if, if I if I read it, you say to me my explanation. If I ask you for your explanation, you say I don't want to give explanation. How does that work? Don't you do, don't you have eyes? No, I'm, not, you can't, I'm not a the, scholar. I'm not a scholar. So many scholars. Uh, uh, when your prophet he spoke to the Muslim at that time, they were scholars. I mean, yeah. They, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? They don't even know Arabic. You know? They are ignorant Arab. They don't know anything. What do you mean? Yeah. Who is an, who is scholar at that time? Didn't most of the science come from the Arabs, anyways? Oh, most of the really? Like, 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 yeah. like what? Like what? Like the camera. That's what. That's the camera what came from, from the Arab. From, from from Ibn Sina. Uh, Ibn Sina was a Muslim. I don't think so, but like, it doesn't really matter. It's from <laughs> Arabs. My friend. I forget about now the Arab and the scientist. Is, was your was your God scientist? What do you mean? Well, we are talking about Allah, and we are telling me about Arab and scientist. That's really weird. Is Allah is the best of the scientist too? Because this is science. What Allah is saying here, Muhammad is speaking in the mouth of Allah. Allah told him this. Muhammad did not go to school, correct? Okay. Okay, so Muhammad is speaking as a messenger of God, and this is science. So now Allah is the best of the scientists. So how the how in the world the best of the scientists he says such a thing? I mean, I, I still don't see what's wrong with it. It's like if he said it's alive for forty days, then okay, I see where he's wrong. But okay, like it says we, we it's ask, like... we ask. I said to you, if you go right now to search in Google, how long does the sperm live? Right. Yeah. It says five days according to Google. I'm not a doctor. Hmm? Okay. Okay. So how long the semen is alive in the belly of the mother according to your prophet? Alive? Yes. What is it's dead now? He doesn't say alive, but he says inside the in the inside the womb forty days, yeah. Ooh, ooh. So it's it is dead now in the coffin forty forty days? You know what I think this is? I think it's where the, the the egg and the sperm hasn't fertilized yet. Uh -huh. It takes 40, 40 days. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. the sperm changes from a sperm to, uh, what was it, the blood. Well, this is not true. You know, we can go right okay. now to as any scientist uh, website, have nothing to do with Christianity or Islam. And, you know, the fertili fertilization will take, uh, you know, a few minutes, actually, not a few years, you know, or 40 days. What you know? What are you talking about? You know, listen, both of the, us don't the, the know the, the semen. The semen will is swim. Any, the semen will swim, and the second thing? the second it arrived to the egg, it doesn't take ten years to arrive. Forty days? Why is going to the Himalaya? 
40 no, days, the women, like when it's, the women, when it's, she, when it's she, after she have sex, 40 days after, the my friend, uh, the women after, after uh -huh. she, after she have sex, 40 days after that, already she have a baby. What are you talking about? You know, 40 days already, the baby, you know, like things start to, to develop, not, not a semen. It's not a semen. Well, and one, one month in. Huh? It's even, it's not even an embryo one month in. Well, let, let us go. Okay. So what is that? When the embryo will start? I don't know. I can't remember. How, how, how you say that it's not in one month? I don't think it's in one month. I'm not too sure though. Okay, hold on. You see, you just got your profit busted. Because according to your profit, every stage of those is 40 days. What do you think? Every stage? Every stage of the stage of the baby is 40 days. Let us go to the hadith. How many and stages I will are there? And I will show you authentic one. How many stages are there? Okay, we will see. There you go. Because you said if there's four stages and 40 days, so that's okay, 160 on. days. Let us see what so your prophet says. Less than nine months. That's not possible. Let us see what will, what will happen. And then you, you can be the judge. No problem. All right. Uh, read with me this hadith. Go ahead, Hold on. start reading. Okay. Hmm. Is this a uh, sahih, right? We will see if it's sahih later. Okay, no problem. Hmm. Mm, where is it? Is the messenger of Allah the truthful and the receiver of truth informed us saying the creation of humans gathered in the form of semen in the womb the womb 40 days and becomes a clinging thing in similar period lump of flesh and uh... okay so how many stages are there? as he said whatever they are 40 days 40 days 40 days but you, look what you just said you said to me he is not even in burial in the in the first month right mm. okay your prophet saying he is a semen now the baby is a semen in the form of semen for 40 days and then he will become a congeal the blood for 40 days and then he will become a lump of a flesh for 40 days and then we have a baby so the total creation of a baby in islam is how many days look 40 for semen 40 for the blood you know that became a became a clot and then 40 became a lump of a flesh and mm -hmm. then allah he sent the angel to write your destiny what is the total yeah that does make sense 120 days And if we put this one next to the other one, now we understand better what Muhammad he made, mean by saying that you are collected as a semen for 40 days inside your mother womb. So this is not a dead semen. This is a semen and then the semen will become. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, but, but this is mean Allah is wrong because there's no way any, any scientist would agree with such a madness. How? But like... How Muhammad he says such a thing? I mean, this is really. What do you think? You can open right okay. now. Listen, you don't, accept, you, don't you don't have to accept. You don't have to accept. You don't have to. I advise you, Muhammad. You don't have to accept a word I said to you. After we finish today, you can go open and study until the morning. Open all atheist website, not a Christian website. Site have nothing to do with the Christianity or Islam or religion. Just doctors. Open actually even Muslim doctors, no problem. And see how the baby is created. This is this is silly. This is not true. And you yourself, you said, doesn't make sense. You didn't tell me if this is Sahih or not. Here we go. It is Sahih, my friend. This is Al Bukhari and Muslim. Do you see it? Hold on one second. The stream is lagging. This hadith can be found in Al Bukhari and Muslim and in the book of Riyadh Salihin, too. So you have three shots in one Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, and Riyadh Salihin. Mm. 
So what we will do now? I mean, I don't really know anything about it. I'll just have to look into it. All right. Uh, you know, I will give you another opportunity. So we, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, Muhammad can't be a prophet. I mean, he, uh, his God is the best of the creators, and yet there's no other creators. That's mean he's lying. If I say, uh, I am, I am well, the well. best, I am the best student, and I am the only one in the classroom. That's mean I'm lying. Either I am the best of the student, or I'm not. No. No, no, no. Um, I was told it's in Arabic. It's an Arabic like way. My friend, of, of... I am an Arab. What in Arabic? Al Khaliqin as Al Khaliqin is a plural. When you say okay, you are the best, the case, everyone reads the Quran. Everyone would have left Islam in the Middle East. Then who said they are not? No, not you. What do you mean? Well, I go to a Jazeera TV right now and search sixteen thousand Muslim leaving Islam a day, a day, every day. A Jazeera TV. This is a terrorist TV. Yeah, but there's like billions, or not billions. This is a billion. Doesn't matter. Sixteen thousand a day. A day. What about Christianity? Is the same number or no, more? Or you know, you Muslims are saying that uh, in the same in the same program, you said that now the Christians became hundreds of millions of Africa when Africa used to be Muslims. You are crying, not me. It's you. You Muslims crying in the same program of Jazeera, speaking about how the Christians taking over Africa when this is used to be majority Muslims. So now I'm asking you, and you know, my friend, even numbers doesn't make any difference. You know. Uh, uh, China is uh, the country of communists. Does that mean they are right? No. Okay. So what? What numbers? We are more than Muslims anyway. Does that mean we are right and you are wrong? What numbers have to? No, do no. This? That's not what I meant. I was just saying it's just a, an insignificant number. No, no. You see, the numbers mean nothing except stupidity, because if I believe there is a God and this God, if I believe in Him, He will make my private part in this. It means I am mentally ill. If I believe in God and this God, He have a prophet. Listen. You, do you do you believe in magic? Yeah. What magic is? It's it's uh it's something that Rasulullah he said like it it's existed so you have to believe it. What it is? What it is? It's like curses, you know. What they what? Take your hair you, tell me then, tell me what 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 the magic does. Give me an example. <laughs> I don't know. I could like if I take your hair and then be like, oh, I want him to and his life not to be good, you know, to get like divorced. I go to a magician and you know, I t I give him your hair. Okay, thank God, uh, thank yeah. God. I, you know, my, all my friends are bold. The only one who does not lose his wife is the bold one. So listen, <laughs> if somebody take hair from your head, he can control you by using your hair. Correct? Yeah. All right. Who is the one who started this business of hair controlling? Mm, I don't know. Is that Shaitan? Uh, I don't know. Is it evil? Is is black magic evil? Black magic? Yeah. It's black good. magic, yeah, it's definitely evil. Well, this black is no, there's no black magic and white magic and green magic. Black magic is a black magic. So is it evil? No, but there's some magic that I think is, is, is not, you know, harmful. Like what? Like to change your luck, to have better luck. That's You can get magicians to, to do that. Or if you want to I fall thought, in love I with I thought you must then believe in destiny and nobody can change your destiny. No, but that's already part of your destiny. Uh, you know, Allah knows that you're going to go to a okay, magician. Okay, how that's he is changing your luck if he is already made your destiny? That's mean the, the the magician did not do anything. It was Allah. So so let us think about it. So Allah He wrote for you that you will go to a magician, and then the magician He will make to you He will say to you shabu shabu shabu, and then by <laughs> by saying that He changed your luck, correct? Yep. So is it Allah who changed your luck or the shabu guy? Okay, I can give you something similar. If I do mm -hmm. um, a prayer to someone. Yeah, and they're sick, and okay. I, I do prayer, and they and they get healthy from my prayer. Okay, is that, is that, a, is, that a, is that a magic? What does that have to do with magic? This is a prayer. That's not, that's not magic, but it still changed an outcome. No, from no, 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 no. You see, yes, it did. I'm talking about no. Like, you see, Muslims are really weird. Okay, I will go with you. So, if you by your prayer can change the destiny of a person, that means destiny does not exist. No, no, it does, but it's all encompassing. It, it it takes that into 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 consideration. Okay, so it, it calculates based on that. So if I if you pray to Allah, 
-hmm. Allah will change your destiny because you prayed? It was always the same. Okay. So what the prayer would do? No, be, no. Look, it's part of your destiny that you will pray. Ah, you haven't changed your destiny. But, but that means you did not even pray. That means what Allah, he forced you to pray. So what the point of this prayer? That's me. You are the believer. No, no, no. He oh. didn't force. He willed it. He willed. He, 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 he willed it. No, no, no. He willed it. He wrote it for you. You do it. Do you do what Allah, yeah. he say by destiny? Or you choose to do your own destiny? Okay, so you're saying that God doesn't know, or sorry, Allah I'm doesn't not talking know. About, I'm not what... talking about knowing now. I, I, we showed you that Allah do not know anything, because if he knew, he would know the, how the baby is the made. The destiny is no. basically God's knowledge okay. of the can future. You, can you continue it... read the hadith we are reading now? Just read it and you will see you are wrong. Maybe Hold wrong. on one second. We stop here, it says. Then it become a lump of flesh, like that. And then Allah will send an angel who breathes into it. The angel is commanded to record four things about it provision its term of life in the world his conduct and whether he will be happy or miserable one by uh, uh, one by one beside whom there is no true god verily one of you read carefully i want you to continue reading here and you will see the madness continue reading this this part uh, verily one of you who performed the actions of the dwellers of Jannah until there is no there is only one cubit between him and it wait hold on can you scroll down or no oh, okay it's just slow uh, where am I one cubit between him and it when what is foreordained would come to pass and he would perform the actions of the inmates of hell until he enters and would perform the actions of inmates. yeah okay what does this all mean what does that mean? It's mean you are acting as the people of heaven, and then what Allah wrote for you will take over and you will go to hell. <laughs> what does that mean? Hold on. I, I don't understand it. I, I no, you understand it. Come on. You are acting as the people of heaven, and then mm -hmm. what Allah wrote for you will win and will take over, and you will go to hell because Allah will force you to act like people of hell, and then you go to hell. No, that's I don't think that's that's what it is. No, it's in the front of you. Okay, read it and explain it to me. Go because ahead. humans have free will, my friend. Where is the free will? It. Read carefully. And now he continues saying, And one of you would perform the action of inmate of hell, bad person, until there is only one cubit between him and hell, then he would perform the act of doer of, uh, of Jannah until he enter it. So what Allah, hey, uh, what Allah it's not wrote, force, it's what, not forcing. That's not forcing. What not forcing? Okay, you are acting like people of hell. Who is the one who made you act suddenly like the people of heaven, and you go to heaven? Your own free will. No, you don't know you're no. God. It says what Allah. He, you know, read, my friend. Do you know how to read? Yeah. Okay. When Allah He says He write for you, you either you will be happy or not. Your provision. Your conduct, which means your your deeds, everything is a destiny. And then he says, "You have and, Calvinists to do the same thing. Are they all wrong? What Calvinists? There's nothing. You know what Calvinists? Calvinists does not mean they don't believe that this is destiny. The Calvinists believe that if I made a a sin, I will go and pay for it. I have to be punished for a certain time. Like you go to jail for it's twenty years, maybe. No, my friend, my friend, my friend. We are a Christian, and we my believe, and we believe, we believe in free will. This is nothing to do with the free will." That your, uh -huh. your prophet here is saying that you are not the one in control correct let us make it more clear for you maybe this hadith is not enough for you okay no i don't think you understand you are in control but allah no, knows no my friend you don't you don't know first of all you do not know allah knows nothing as you see and let us show you here uh, okay another hadith give me a second here uh, just to make it clear for you maybe you are confused with the first one so we will help you 
Okay. In this hadith here, it says the same thing. This is a different report. Uh, actually, this is the same hadith here, but you see where is the word? It says, uh, Okay. Uh, yeah, the translation is really false. In Arabic, it says, which means what Allah wrote for him. So just to show you how Muslim they change translations just to cover things up. Let us go and search for more. All right. I mean, you can just translate this for me. No, no, no. Oh, mean... No problem. Hold on. And then, uh, okay. Huh. Here we go. This is even better. So then it says here, after Allah, he breathed the soul into you, which is wrong procreation, as we showed, and he write your deed. And then, uh, so the man may do the deeds, which deeds of people of hell, fire, so much so that he is only a distance of one cupid, of a cupid, uh, to between him and it, which means the hell. And then what has been written by the angel suppresses do you see the word suppresses you said to me he don't force you it's not suppresses it surpasses I suppresses think sorry suppresses so, excuse my english is not i'm not good in english it's, it's different suppresses means it's it's, it's overtaking surpasses exactly means... exactly what is going to no. overtake no but it's it's not the way you're thinking of it okay then surpasses. tell me how you think tell me how you think okay, it says it's suppresses it's and you said to me it overtake you are the one who translate wonderful yeah 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 yeah, yeah. No, 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 but it's the difference between suppresses, uh, uh, surpa surpasses to overtake, suppresses to, you know, make no silent. problem, my friend. Surprises, surprises, surprises. As you said, you are correct. Now you said it mean what? What surprises mean? Okay, so if I have good deeds and I have bad deeds, no, no. What what surprises, surprises mean? What surprises? What surprises mean? Deeds. Before we continue, what what this word means? Surprises mean surprises. Surpasses yeah? to to go ahead of. Go ahead. You know, to, to go go over to be more than it, so it doesn't mean take over surpass uh, in a sense yeah no, yeah, don't tell yeah. me a sense i want the meaning i have to be uh, look i'm not oxford dictionary i don't really know okay uh, maybe yeah okay so it take over so now you have you lost your power and then he start doing the deeds which cut why do you assume we lose power huh why do you assume he lose power? Because now he changed. He is doing the work of hellfire. And then what is written by Allah, by the angel, will take over. Okay, can can I get... Okay, let me do a realistic view of this. So let's say I'm a good guy. And at the end, I, I become evil. But from my own free will. There's no free will, as you see, what Allah wrote but for this you. Is, this my friend, is okay, no, my, I will you're go, listen, listen, listen. Okay, it says here, and what is written by the angel, what, what that will do? surpasses yeah okay and what that will do yeah if you're doing wrong then you do good uh, no no my friend what is written by the angels what will do will change the direction of the course of the man action he was doing the act of people of hell correct it's not because he the angel wrote it down it's because it says it that it say it's in front of you my friend what's wrong with you come on okay let me show you another translation so let us let us play this game you want to play games let's play games okay. we continue here we go so allah decide for you if you are going to be miserable or not happy or not he will write for you even the deeds does it say here that what allah he wrote for you the same story a cubit between him and then what is decreed will overcome him. Are you going to play now the word with surprises? This is the Muslim translation. And I am an Arab, I read Arabic. You're, you're misunderstanding the concept of, of Qadr. It says the degree will overcome him. Yeah. Okay. okay. No. Okay. The, no, no. The, 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 what the decree of Allah mean? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Suddenly you don't know English now. The decree of Allah. Yeah. 
suddenly a Muslim guys, you do not know what the decree of the Allah decree means. The decree of Allah is basically the what what's written for him. What? The decree of Allah, the decree is his 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 choice. Allah's, exactly, Allah's his destiny, word. what he wrote for you, the destiny, decree, it's a destiny, it's fate. Suddenly you do not know Arabic now, you don't know English now. Decree is your fate. So what Allah he wrote for you will overcome. I said to you, it's overcome. You said, no worry, you get this. It says suppress, it doesn't mean it says exceed. So here we go. This is your Muslim website. This is the same story. Will overcome him. So he will do the deeds of those who will go to hell and he enter it. So at the end of the day in Islam, it's not you who chose to pray or not. Islam is a stupid religion. It's what Allah he wrote for you will overcome. It's in front of you. You want to deny? You are just. Not, you are just, what is you are just lying to yourself, it's, my it's, friend. It's, just a, it's a byproduct. It's not actually because of it. It says that. It says, and then, my friend, it's in front of you. Do you know how to read? It yes, says, I okay, read, read with me stuff. then. Okay, so it says here, we'll do the deeds of those who go to paradise, so that there will be only one cubit between him and it, which means the paradise almost there. Then, then surprise. Then what is decreed will overcome him, overcome him. The decreed is a decision made by who? Allah. Exactly. Will overcome who? The slave, obviously. Exactly. And he will start acting like what? It's not, it's not affecting his free will. His free will is okay, already friend, always... I'm, I'm wasting my time. You are just being a kid now. Take what? care. And people, they say to me, you have to be more patient. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I want to do nursing. What is left? It's obvious. You want to play games? You want to play dumb now? It's in the front of you. So Islam simply is a stupid cult. Very stupid. Because now you pray, you do Hajj, you do everything is a destiny. It's already written where you will go. It doesn't matter what you do. So what's the point of this cult? When you lie, Muslims, you lie about you lie to yourself, not to me. I'm laughing. Everybody is listening, is laughing at your lies. It says it clearly. First, you 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 claim that suppresses. Oh, it doesn't make overcome. It's not forcing him. It's forcing him. You want to play, play, but we know at the end of the day we are making victory, and people leave in Islam. And we pray that you will see the truth and the truth will set you free, my friend. This is stupid religion. What's the point? I pray, I don't pray, I convert to Islam, I don't convert. It's what Allah, what Allah wrote for me before he created me. So what's the point of this religion? There's no point. Go have sex, go and be a criminal, go and kill, go cheat, go do do whatever you want. Because at the end of the day, as you see, the guy is doing the act of hellfire all his life. Then what written by Allah will take over and he will go to heaven. That's fun. <laughs> do you see it? How stupid this garbage cult is. There's no point of it. Because you do, you don't do, you convert, you don't convert. You say shahada, you don't say shahada. You pray, you don't pray. It's what Allah wrote for you already. Based on your luck, it's a, it's a game. You don't know your luck. So this God, you do not know how the baby is made. You do not know where the sun set. You do not know where the sun rise. He speak about Gog and Magog. They are hiding. By the way, I saw. Hold on. By the way, guys, I have to be honest with you. Today, I saw someone from Gog and Magog. And I could not believe it. I said to myself, am I like I 
I start like looking at my eyes and look at the mirror and I was saying this can't be true I mean we are trying always to prove that Allah is a liar and Muhammad is a liar and then people on Gog and Magog they appear in my screen what we will say to the Muslims now What we will say to the holes in the narrative, Yasser Qadi. Those Christians, they keep saying, where is Gog and Magog? How come we cannot see them? Are you blind? I even saw them kissing. You can't be evil more than this. So now all those Christians, atheists, whatever, Hindus, Buddhas, you've been refuted. And look, they are giving finger. Look, do you see the finger? What do you want more? Brothers, sisters, those Christians, they are not going to believe. doesn't matter what you do. Even if you show them Gog and Magog and real, as you see. And by the way, the reason we did not say Gog and Magog for all this time because they were wearing a mask. But as soon they took the mask off, we start seeing them. So I think we understood the Quran wrong, as Ahmad keeps saying. It is not a dam, it was a mask, it was a dam mask. Not a real dam, as the Quran say. And those Christians, there is no Gog and Magog. I challenge you to show me Gog and Magog. And you know, the poor Zasar Qadi is trying to find Gog and Magog. And you know, you know he, here we go, he got you busted. Why, why, why people, they are not seeing, seeing the truth? You know? What's wrong with people? Very disgusting, you know. Gog and Magog. Zulkarnain he found. People who they are very evil. And then the people who say to him, Zulkarnain. Which means the guy with the two horn. I thought this is, will fit perfectly with Joe Biden. But anyway, so brother, this story is another confirmation that Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. Look at this. They said, Oh, Zulkarnain, the Gog and Magog, between two bracket people. Hmm? What the heck? They become people now? Are they, are they going to vote for us, with us in the coming election? Well, Democrat, they upset anybody to vote. Don't worry. Do great mischievement on earth. Shall we then render the tribute in order uh, the highest uh, react? Uh, er, erect? Er, this is a heavy word for me. Er, erect? What the heck is this? A barrier? Who is the translator of this? Uh, let me see who the translator is. Yusuf Ali. You see, Yasser Qadi, he said, this guy, he did not even know Arabic, but yet he translated the Quran. Unbelievable. Okay, hold on. Let us see the front translation. Unbelievable, man. Go, Gamma. Shall then we pay you tribute, my friend? Nothing for free. Even the Quran, you have to pay him. Allah send him, still you have to pay him. We will pay you tribute in order to you might erect. I, I, I thought I got rid of the first translation because there is an erect there. And now it's following me. Like, what's wrong with this word? A barrier between us and them. Have you ever heard of a religion believe that if we build up wall between us and other people, they cannot come to us forever until judgment day? 
Did Zulkarnain split the earth to pieces? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I have to blame the Jews in this one. Yes, by the way, the Jews, they came to Muhammad. They told him, tell us about Prophet Zulkarnain. The stupid Muhammad, they believe him that he's a prophet. Actually, there's a hadith. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this guy. <laughs> the hadith says that Prophet Muhammad is a man anything we say to him he believe in it imagine they are making fun of him they are saying uh, let's, let me find it for you Uh, let us see. I cannot find the hadith in English. Uh, well, let us find it in Arabic and use Google Translation then. This is the interpretation of the Quran. <clears throat> the chapter of Atoba. <laughs> what a great prophet, man. What an amazing prophet. <sighs> Let us see which. Uh... Let us see here. Okay, this is at tafsir.com. Let us see here. I research for it. All right. This is tafsir who? Al Muyasser or Al Muyasser. So this is a Tawbah. Chapter 9, verse number 58. You go all the way to the end of the page. Number number 61. I will give you the link. It says that the, the munafiqeen, the bad ones, the bad ones, brother, they said, look at Muhammad. Those munafiqeen, they heard the Prophet by saying, he listened to what he hear and he believe it. And then, in the Muhammadan, who, uh, he is an ear. He's an ear. They call him an ear, which means it's like, you know, this is an insult. He is an ear. He have no brain. Whatever you say to him, he take it, he accept it, he add it to his book. Inna Muhammadan huwa udhnun tastami'u li kulli khabar. Yu'minu billahi wa yusuddiqu al-mu'minina bima yukhbirunahu. He is just an ear. Whatever people, he, he believe in every news he hear. Let's go use Google Translation. The hypocrite, they insult him, saying that the prophet, peace be upon him, uh, he is a, an ear, you know, he accept any word, translation is not coming good. He said to him, and he believed in it. And then he added in the Quran. The guy is literally an ear. So they come to him, they said, Tell us about Zulkarnain, Prophet Zulkarnain, Muhammad, he believed that he's a prophet. He went, he asked, he listened. People, they said to him, who is Zulkarnain? And this is a story written by somebody from Syria. It's a fiction story. It exists long before Muhammad. About Alexander the Great, who used to wear a hat, a Roman hat, for war. With a two horn. This guy is a pagan. Suddenly he became a prophet. He became a Muslim. Allah sent him. I mean, the guy is even bisexual, which means he sleep with men and women. Even men, they do boom, boom to him. Even this guy, Muhammad, made him a prophet.
So he went to the end of the world and he found Gog and Magog and then he built a dam and now those Gog and Magog, they are digging a hole. My friend, Islam is a hole. Either you take the hole as it is and this hole will suck you like a black hole in the galaxy and you will go to hell. Muhammad is an earring. He's an ear, sorry, not an earring. He is an ear. Ear, buddy. <laughs> what kind of religion this religion is? Huh? What the heck is that? Uh, <clears throat> and actually the funny is even the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is an ear I mean can you believe it stupidity is going so far yes he is an ear what's your problem huh Here's an ear. Uh, I'm, look, I'm looking for the translation. Uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Do you see it? This is Quran now. This is not Hadith. This is chapter 9, verse number 61. Prophet Muhammad is an ear. Literally an ear. People, they were laughing at him. This guy, whatever people, they say to him, he put it in the Quran. You say to him, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse is a prophet. They said to him that the lizard, he burned, he blow the fire at Abraham. He make it a true story. So maybe if you want from now on, just a reminder, you know, just say a prophet Muhammad is an ear. But remember, in the future, if somebody asks you where where will you find it, anyone remember? Where will you find this proof that Muhammad was an ear? Anyone remember? Give me the number. Come on, you guys, you don't have ears too. You are not ears. <laughs> Let us see how Prophet Muhammad looked like. Unbelievable. I don't know how I can do those things. I mean, I was the best of, uh, best of the creators. I, here we go. I just created an ear. What kind of ear is that? Weird, like the prophet. <laughs> so, in the future, if a Muslim, he want to say something to you about Muhammad the Amazing, tell him, Abdul, come on. Even your God, Allah, he agree. That yes, he is an ear. And look, this is ear for every news. What every news? They are making fun of him that he is adding things, whatever he hear. He make a Quran. I I can do better with nose. I don't know why Muhammad is not a nose. Hold on. Look. Here there's a hole. Here there's a mouth. And the reason the, the, the thing here is not straight, like not nice, because this person, he is uh, like Joe Biden, he was coming from the airplane and he fell down. And since then his chin is not right, you know? And he's trying to wear his jacket. This is uh, Joe Biden after he went to Thailand and they made the plastic surgery for him. Subhanallah. And this is the ears of Prophet Muhammad. What the heck is that? Ears. And the funny Muhammad, he did not even say, no, I'm not. He agree. Like, what the problem? Anything you say, 
I, I believe I put it in the Quran. A Jewish guy, he said to him, Hey, Prophet, tell us what is the first meal when we enter heaven. They are making fun of him. And then after he said to them what he said, they said, this is you told the truth. You are a prophet. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Anyway, I hope. Did we have a good time, guys? And sorry that today we did not have those who claim to can debate me. As you see, you know, they run away. They are cowards. And I, you know, for me, we we're waiting for them. And they first they made an excuse to change the title. We changed it. I changed it twice actually. And then the the first one he ran away. They start calling the second one, the third one. Nobody want to show up. So what we can do? Things happen, my friend. If you in the future want to bring somebody to debate me, don't tell him that his name is a Christian prince. Just tell him. Actually, don't even give him my Skype. He can call me. Let him to wait. Call me and call him to join the call. This way he will not even know he's calling who. And then after he is live, if you run, that will be a you know problem for him. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope you have a good time. And uh we praise the Lord that we are in the right side. We are following the amazing Messiah, not the silly Muhammad and the stupid religion of this cult, pagan, black stone kissing religion. We don't want God who want to give us virgins. You know, women are human. Women are not sex toys. And women are not made to be used and abused. The heaven of Allah is all of it is about abuse. It's a man-made religion to seduce the man so he can go to hell. Always ask yourself, if God in Islam is a true, do he need to tempt me by sex and hundreds or thousands of women to be in my bed? This is Satan. You do not need to be genius. When God created Adam, he created for him one Eve. If one Eve will not be enough for a man, then there's no women can be enough for Adam. So if the beginning of man in heaven was one woman, one man, why the end will be one man and thousand of women? And their description is very weird. Marriage? is about love, not about lust. Otherwise, why people get married anyway? If it's lawful for me to have four in the same time in one bed or four beds, so what is a cheating and what is wrong and what is right? And what is enough? And then I can divorce them second day if I want or even the same day and replace them with a new four. So, in the appearance, there is a limit, but in fact, there is no limit. If you have money, you divorce, you marry, you divorce your money every day. Marriage is not even a marriage in Islam. It's a sex contract. This is why I say to you, if you are a female, never be a foolish and marry a Muslim. For him, you are just a chick holder. You know, the chicken give eggs set on them give him babies and when he is horny he jump on her and when he is hungry she cook for him he will have four like you and if you say my husband he don't have four wait until he go back to his country and he marry from your behind if he cannot have four because in this country they don't allow him but in his country he is more than welcome to have four islam is ugly disgusting, any human, far away from humanity, it focus in your animal, animal, orgasm, organs, penis, food, money, gold, your house in heaven will be a brick of gold, brick of silver, and then you ask yourself, are we, are we in heaven? Or in what we are in a Beverly hell? where the people of hell live. What is the value of gold and silver in heaven? 
And who cares for a house of gold? You know, the most beautiful house for me is those they make them from trees. They are so beautiful. What gold? If you really like to live in a house made of gold, you are sick. That means you are greedy. That means you lost your humanity. God has nothing to do with those promises. All what God is doing is to make us go back to our humanity and to forget about our greed. Islam make you greedy. You want to be more rich. Even Muhammad, he promised them that the lowest in the heaven, he will be 10 times rich more than any king. Actually, some hadith, they multiply to the point he will become like a hundred times more rich than any king in this earth. And then you ask yourself, why God will promise me to be rich? When we go, and I advise you, when you wake up in the morning, Pray to the Lord to provide you your needs because you do not need more. That's why when the Lord, they ask him how to pray, he speak about praying. Thank you, Lord, our Father out of heaven for giving us the bread, not that gold, not the silver. We are thankful for the bread because that is our need. The gold and the silver is for the greedy, is for Satan. Every one of us dream to get rich and wealthy. But trust me, the second you become really wealthy, you lose God, because your wealth will kill your heart, because wealth will tempt you because wealth will make you feel powerful. Pray to have your needs. You have little food, you and your family, plus the food, and say, thank you, Lord, for having beautiful things around me. Thank you, Lord, for having a roof. Because one day I will be in a grave and all the gold and silver Muhammad is speaking of is a lie. The holy house of God is not a pimp house. And Muhammad God is a pimp. And if I'm wrong, prove me wrong. This is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you for today humbly. And I hope I did good helping you to understand. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him.